favorite real estate agent. Today is closing day. I'm driving all the way to Beltway 8. We have a closing. It's a new home builder, so they have their location central. Uh, so I got to drive a little bit to tell the company. Uh, my client, that's the one with um, the five bedroom plus a large game room plus double high ceilings. And they were on a budget. Please don't go over 300 ish. So we found them a home 351. The builder pays all the closing costs. My client comes to the table with just over 10K. Super, super affordable. And they have a premium lot. The whole house is a smart house. The thing with the premium lot is there are no back neighbors. And left and right, no one can look into the backyard. My personal preference. I personally live in my backyard. I cannot have anyone like sitting on their patio and staring into my backyard. That would not be my preferred way to spend my evenings. Not that I sit there so much, but when I sit there, I want to be by myself and not sit with my neighbor, right? So that's what they got there too. And then while I'm driving there, I'm uh, listening to John Maxwell High Road Leadership and he talks about how to be a good leader. I'm not leading too many people right now except myself and my children. And then I was thinking I do lead my clients and some people are thinking I lead them like a German general with a whistle in my mouth. <clears throat> and I was thinking about it. And actually when you have good communication ahead of time, you do not lead them. You do not lead your clients with such a strict hand how people think. Like, oh, you don't allow them to blink wrong or to go left or right. <clears throat> Actually, my clients make it very easy to me <clears throat> as long as they listen to me from the get-go because then I educate them. I tell them what is right, what is wrong. This will end this way. That will end that way. Which way do you want to go? And they make good decisions because they understand how things are working. Yeah, so that's... I was just thinking and John Maxwell said, he said, I don't have many problems and his secretary said, you think you don't have many problems? You do have many problems. Every day there are new problems. And he said, that's true, I've never thought about that, but I do not let the problems dictate the way I go. And I thought, isn't that so true? Because of course in real estate we have so many people involved, uh, things do go wrong and all day long. We are solving problems that hopefully not ourselves um, created, that we did not create, that someone else created, and we are ironing it out and cleaning it up. Sorry, so much traffic here. Um, but we do not allow the problems to dictate the path we go and if we will be successful at the end or not. Sometimes there are problems in real estate, of course, we have to. Um, we have to stop the journey on that, on the, in that direction and we have to switch direction, go other direction. Um, but in general, there is usually always a way out there. If someone wants to buy, there's always a way to help them buy. Except we have problems that we need time and we need another six months, 12 months to clean up your credit. Or you had a bankruptcy last year, that will be difficult. <laughs> so, um, but those things usually do not come by surprise. And today I'm taking over just yet another transaction of another agent and the other agent couldn't bring this client to success. It is a purchase and same time a sale. It's a different transaction starting today. Um, and I said, well, let's have our expectations the right way. If you want to realize X, Y, Z and there is not a dime, we will. Here we are. Sorry, I'm back. Um, my client called me. He's probably already a title company. Um, where was I? So we have hindernesses or issues that we know ahead of time. And in those cases, we need to be realistic of what to expect. So if we are not successful, that was expected, we will be successful in six months or in 12 months. Okie dokie, you guys. I gotta let you go because I'm a title company and I last time already had issues to find this place but today i know i know how to find them we go backwards through this parking lot and then we're there okie dokie i let you go i need to find myself a parking spot and help my client close on this property okay you guys make it a wonderful day Bye -bye.